I've always been around the music because I grew up in a house of music. My whole family plays music. My friends play music. All my relatives play music. So I'm actually one of those people that don't know life without music. I saw how life painted the picture and music was the soundtrack to that picture being painted. So I was always involved. My name is Terrace Martin. I grew up in Los Angeles, California, in the Crenshaw District, to be very specific. I grew up in a, in a, a house of music, from jazz to R&B to hip hop to classical to gospel. You know, you go outside, you see palm trees and everything. You see the, the pretty sunlight, but then sometimes it gets tricky. You may hear a couple of gunshots, you may hear helicopters, but either way it go. It was still fun times growing up in LA, and all that plays into my music and my creativity. My first check doing music was I got hooked up with Superfly by my brother Marlon. And Superfly was, is a producer with Snoop and everybody, and I was 18 years old and I didn't, I didn't have my own equipment. And he took notice of me and was like, yo, what, what kind of equipment do you be using? I was like, man, I use whatever I have. I don't have my own equipment. He said, you don't have your equipment? How you doing all this music? I said, I'm, I'm borrowing equipment. He said, oh, man. So he said, here, man, go to his address tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I went to his accountant and from never seeing like hardly any money, maybe $50 here and there, $25 for a gig, $40 for a gig. Maybe if I'm even a good old boy, I'll get $80 a gig on a jazz gig. But from that, then, like him giving me $10,000 out the blue, he didn't even do no contract. He just gave me $10,000 when I was 18. That's when I bought my equipment. And with that equipment, that's how I ended up hooking up with Snoop and everybody else. Good problem. You got the mic feeding back. Get your um, organic vodka and expensive. You see, he went to Poly. Long Beach Poly High School, Eastside. Poly was still a preparatory high school because Long Beach is still a suburb, actually. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm about Long Beach, nigga. Well, I, I tell everybody this. Anything with the arts, music, dance, film, drawing, anything, you will die being a student with this whole thing. You never master this whole shit. All of us, me, y'all, everybody dies being a fucking student. We never graduate these classes. It's the only school that just keeps on going. And number two is, the arts is the only thing in life where you can't give the arts 100%. You can't give it 99. You got to give the arts 150% and hope the arts give you back 50%. You got to give your whole body for this, everything. If people think you just could come in, you know, with a hot something and you got a hot song or a hot tape or even a hot album. Or even, a, and they think sometimes they think that's it. That's the pinnacle. My buddies are saying I'm hot. It's cool, but now you got to keep going if you want to do it for a living. Like, I'm going to die doing music. My children are going to, I'm gonna die feeding my kids off of music. I can guarantee that. I'm not gonna never have a day job. I'm not gonna never work for a day job. I'm not gonna never, well, I'll teach at USC or NYU or something later on, but I'll, I'll never do anything that has nothing to do with anything but the arts. Rather it be film, music, but it has to be the arts. But I'm willing to do whatever for that. That means I'm willing to starve myself out and wait or keep going hard. Just because I don't got a chain or a Bentley Coop, I mean, it's over. But I do no, do T don't do that. Stop. You see him? <laughs> you see him? You know, he is not that. gonna play me 10 beats, bro. Uh -uh. I don't even have 10 beats, man. See? But I'm, I'm about to start having at least six. Just do what you do, man. I gotta do at least, okay, three. <laughs> Just do what you do, bro. Man, I'm trying, I like man. the way you move. Being a jazz musician first, our big thing we follow the each one teach one and we really live for the fellowship, meaning the gathering of musicians and people. That's what LA really is. LA is about the perception and the ladies and gentlemen and what it looks like. That's why you got a lot of niggas out here that's been victims of certain things and everything. But it's just about time to play. No lights camera action, it's all action there. Me and my friends get to get together and we play live. And just recently I did one at a place called The Virgin. It used to be the old temple bar in Silver Lake, the little temple. And it was a nice venue. People there was nice. And I only promoted it for like two days and it was packed. I only promoted it for two days on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, uh, Ronald Bruner was on drums, one of my favorite drummers. One of the best session guitarists of Los Angeles, uh, Marlon Williams on guitar, on bass. My cousin and one of my favorite bass players in the world, um, Thundercat. Uh, which him and Ronald are brothers. 
And then on piano, one of my teachers and one of my best friends, Mr. Robert Glasper. So doing that and having such a, me having such a powerful name in LA, it helps out. It helps people see a different side of me, but a different side of the music because I'm realizing people aren't used to seeing people play like that no more. What I wish somebody would have told me at a younger age was basically to just, it's not gonna be an easy road, but it's gonna be an enjoyable road. That's what I wish, because this music has a lot of letdowns too. And if you're not a emotionally or mentally strong for this entertainment business, you should just do it when you get home from your consistent job. And just do it for a hobby around your kids and look on the mantle and say, I could have been great. Or you could just die dope. I don't know, shit, the fuck? Die dope, ooh, that's the title, die dope. You from where I'm from, you can't even dream to come out to L.A. You can't, because L.A. rent $1,000, $2,000, my nigga. There's too many obstacles. There's too many steps to be free. You feel me? There's too many steps you got to take to be free. There's too many things you got to do to try to, just to be your fucking self. Niggas, they treat lyrics like I hold triggers, like I make difference. They downplay where I 